This is a common rope chain splice made with what is, in my opinion, a substandard three-strand nylon rope. This line was made in Mexico and is the softest and loosest three-strand that I've come across yet. I've already taped off each of the three strands and stopped the line about a foot down with a piece of tape. I've unlaid the strands to the stop and I begin the splice by passing two strands through the first link of the chain in the same direction and the third strand between the first two in the opposite direction. Here I'm just beginning to realize how loose this line is and how little memory it has. By memory, I mean the tendency to stay twisted or laid. This line has a tendency to relax and unlay. After passing the line through the link, I remove the tape and, begin the, and can begin the tucks. As I work the splice and tuck the strands, I try to keep the twist in the strand as much as possible, while also keeping the splice tight but even, meaning I don't pull so hard as to bunch up the line. tight but even. Hold the shape of the splice with your hand while pulling.
After five tucks with all three strands, five full tucks. I pass the second strand once more, and the third strand twice more. This makes the taper. Six with that one. Seven with that one. strands come out on the same side, that's your taper. Then I tape the strands near the splice and cut off the excess. melt the ends and actually leave a head on them. This prevents the strands from pulling into the splice, especially with a soft line like this. The splicing is now finished, but I always whip the splice to tighten the grip on the chain. You don't want chafe there. And in this instance, because of the construction of the line, I felt it was necessary to cross stitch as well. The needlework is on the second video for those interested.